diamond tuning. Representation of a single dimension include dimension line, extension line, outline and the dimension. Two extension lines are to be extended perpendicular to the outline. The extension lines should extend the dimension line by 2 mm. All the dimensions are to be neatly represented. Continuous or chain dimensioning. In this, let us see about how to draw, how to represent dimensions using chain or continuous dimensioning method. In this method, all the dimensions are represented continuously one after the other. Parallel Dimensioning In this, let us see how to represent dimensions using Parallel Dimensioning method. In this method, all the dimensions are represented with respect to a common origin. Care should be taken in such a way that the distance between two dimension lines is at least 10 mm. Combined Dimensioning uh, Both the methods of chain dimensioning as well as parallel dimensioning are used to conveniently represent the dimensions. Dimensioning of Circles In this, let us see about how to conveniently represent the dimension of a circle. Dimensioning a small circle with arrowheads inside will lead to confusion. Dimensioning a small circle with outside arrowheads will be clear and readable. Dimensioning a medium sized circle with arrowheads inside looks to be good rather than marking it outside. Dimensioning within the circle will increase the total drawing clarity rather making outside for larger circle. Dimensioning Diameter More diameters are to be represented and if all such diameters are represented in a single view, it will be confusing and complicated. Instead, the dimensions should be placed on the most appropriate view to ensure clarity. Example Problem The given view contains dimensions represented wrongly. The view is to be neatly redrawn and all the dimensions are to be neatly represented as per the norms. The dimensions are to be represented outside the view. Clear distance should be provided between the outline and dimension line. The dimensions are to be neatly represented appropriately.
example problem. The dimensions are to be printed neatly as per the norm. All the dimensions are to be shown externally. Represent the dimensions in an aligned manner. Keep the symbol for diameter prior to the numerical value. Example problem. In this, a view with wrongly represented dimensions is available. The task is to redraw the view with proper dimensioning norm as per aligned system and unidirectional system separately. Aligned system. The dimensions are to be printed neatly as per the norm. All the dimensions are to be shown externally. Represent the dimensions in an aligned manner. Dimensions are to be represented as per unidirectional system. In this system, all the dimensions, whether it is vertical, horizontal or inclined, the dimensions should be represented with vertical stroke letters. Example problem. Dimensioning practice on chain, parallel and combined dimensioning. In this, a view with wrongly represented dimensions is available. The task is to show the same view with proper dimensioning based on chain, parallel and combined dimensioning methods. In chain dimensioning, all the dimensions are to be shown continuously one after the other. Parallel dimensioning. The dimensions are to be shown with a common origin. And in combined dimensioning, both methods are to be used so as to show the dimensions conveniently.